Welcome to the Edge of AI podcast. Stick around for five minutes and get your dose of current events in today's Edge of AI dispatch segment powered by Metaverse Post. This is your source for the latest news in cutting edge tech and AI. Today, we dive into OpenAI's secret AI project, QSTAR, Neo4j, and AWS's plans to reduce AI hallucinations, and Mediatek's new AI chip to rival Qualcomm Snapdragon. Italy's regulatory technology startup, Aptis.ai, recently raised 3 million pounds in a pre-Series A funding to expand its business data platform with generative AI technologies. Founded in 2018, the platform aims to streamline data from legal documents into interactive machine-readable formats. The £3 million funding marks the startup's first investment for its regulatory technology tool. Aptis.ai co-founders Andrea Tesse and Lorenzo DiMatte both hold PhDs in computer science from the University of Pisa. The company has gained traction in the market, securing well-known Italian clients including Intesa San Paolo, Generali Investments, and MPS. Graph database and analytics firm Neo4j recently signed a multi-year strategic collaboration agreement, SCA, with Amazon Web Services that aims to enhance generative AI results. The collaboration will focus on integrating AWS's enterprise solution, Amazon Bedrock, to enhance accuracy, transparency, and explainability to reduce hallucinations in AI models. In a conversation with Metaverse Post, Sudhir Hasbe, Chief Product Officer at Neo4j, said hallucinations are a common challenge faced by developers creating large language language models as they require memory rooted in specific enterprise data and domains. Neo4j and AWS will utilize a combination of knowledge graphs and native vector search to provide a solution to this growing issue. Sam Altman's recent firing as CEO of OpenAI was triggered by an internal breakthrough in artificial intelligence named QSTAR which possibly utilizes Q-learning. According to a Reuters report, safety concerns expressed by OpenAI researchers regarding the rumored project QSTAR played a crucial role in the board's decision to remove Altman from his position. Reuters said that in the days leading to Altman's removal, OpenAI was apprehensive about the potential risks posed by this powerful AI discovery revealed in a letter to the board. This action combined with other factors led to Altman's temporary departure, with over 700 staff members contemplating a move to Microsoft in solidarity. Professional services firm Genpak announced the launch of Genpak Artificial Intelligence Innovation Center in London, UK. The center has been strategically designed for collaborative innovation with clients and will help unlock business transformation by harnessing AI for various domains such as supply chain management, finance, customer care, sales, and insurance. Genpak's London Center will also provide step-by-step -step guidance helping enterprises explore the broad advantages to integrating AI beyond productivity benefits. The launch of AI Innovation Center in the UK marks the initial step in establishing multiple innovation centers globally and is an important aspect of Genpak's $600 million investment in AI over the next three years. Google announced that its AI chatbot, Bard, can now watch and understand YouTube videos in real time. Previously, Bard had the capacity to analyze YouTube videos, but with the latest update, it can actively respond to questions about the video. In addition to the updates, Google Bard has extended its access to teenagers in various countries, implementing age-appropriate protections to ensure a positive user experience. Google's announcement to add new features to Bard comes at a time when its rival, OpenAI's ChatGPT, has introduced a new voice feature for all of its users. The feature allows users to tap on the microphone button and verbally ask desired queries. Software giant Adobe has acquired Indian generative AI startup Rephrase.ai to deliver AI-driven video content to its customer base. As part of the deal, the majority of Rephrase's team will join Adobe, marking Adobe's first acquisition in the generative AI and video tooling space. Rephrase's investors will benefit with a complete cash exit as founders will receive compensation in both cash and Adobe stock. The move indicates a growing competition in the generative AI space among major tech companies, with Microsoft Azure recently announcing text-to-speech capabilities for digital avatars through its Azure AI speech service. Likewise, in a move to rival Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 chip, Taiwan-based chipmaker MediaTek announced the launch of Dimensity 8300 chips for premium 5G smartphones. The chips will help deliver on-device generative AI capabilities and aid in better smartphone connectivity and energy efficiency. MediaTek said the Dimensity 8300 has a dedicated APU 780 AI processor and can handle generative AI models of up to 10 billion parameters. The new chip will also optimize gaming performance and maintain a lower operating temperature 
during high SPF or frames per second gaming sessions. Chinese smartphone manufacturer OnePlus introduced the OnePlus AI Music Studio, a platform that integrates AI technology to allow users to create music for diverse genres, including rap, hip hop, and EDM. Through the generative AI platform, users can compose lyrics and blend them with AI generated beats, bringing their unique musical ideas to life with just a few taps. With a focus on community involvement, the platform will also allow users to share their musical creations on various social media platforms. OnePlus believes that the launch highlights the intersection of technology and artistry and paves the way for a new era of musical exploration and innovation. That's it for the Edge of AI Dispatch today, your source for the latest news in cutting edge tech and artificial intelligence. This news segment has been powered by Metaverse Post. If you enjoyed today's dispatch, kindly subscribe, rate, and review us on the platform that you are hearing this. And if you want to dive deeper, check out our Edge of AI podcast featuring captivating conversations with top pioneers in the space, also on Spotify, iTunes, and YouTube. We also invite you to visit edgeofai.xyz to learn more about us and get the direct links to follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. Tune in next time for targeted coverage of the most compelling stories in the market, industry, and culture.